I just found a really nice story. This is the frog prince that I'd like to um do this story for everybody that um watches it. Okay. So he he's the story is the story frog prince. Okay. One fine evening a young princess put on her Put on her, her bonnet, her, cl her clogs, which clogs are like shoes. They're types, they're like, they're wooden shoes, basically. Clogs, what clogs are. And went out to take a walk by herself in the wood. So a wood is like a forest, a very scary forest, lots of trees and things. Yeah. Um, and when she came to a cool spring of water with... A rose in the middle of it. She sat herself down to rest for a while. Now she had a golden ball in her um, hand, which was her favorite um, play thing. And, and, she, and she was always tossing it up into the air and catching it again as it fell. After a time, she threw it up so high that she missed catching it. And dang it, as it fell, the ball bounced um, away, rolled along the um, rolled along the ground, until, until at last it fell into the spring. And yeah, the princess looked into the spring spr the spring after her ball. It was very deep, so deep she could not see the b bottom of it. She began to cry. She said, Alas, if only I could get my ball again. I would give all my fine clothes and jewels and everything that I have in the world. While she was speaking, a frog put his head out of the, the water. Princess, why do you weep so bitterly? Alas, she said, um, alas, she said, what can you do for me, you nasty frog? My god, a ball has fallen into the spring. The, the frog said, I do not want your pearls and jewels and fine clothes, but if you love me and let me live, with you and eat f from off your golden plate and sleep in your bed, I will bring your ball again. What nonsense thought the princess, that silly frog is t talking. He can never even get out of the spring to visit me. For, for he may be able to get my ball get my ball for me and therefore I will tell him he, he shall have whatever he asks for so she said to the frog well if you will bring my ball I will do all you ask then the frog put his head down and dived deep under the water and after a little while, he came up with the ball in his mouth and threw it on the edge of the spring. And mind the words that though I said by the fountain cool in the green wood shade, then the king said to the young princess, as you have given your word, you must keep it. So go and let him in. She did so and the frog hopped into, hopped into the room. And then straight on, tap, tap, splash, splash, splash. From the bottom of the room to the top. Tilly um, came up close to the table where the princess sat 
pray, lift me upon my chair, said he to the princess, and let me sit next to you. As soon as she um, had done this, the frog said, put your plate near to me, that I may eat off it. This she did. And when she, um, um, he had eaten as much as he could, he said, Now I'm tired. Carry me upstairs and put me into your bed. And the princess, though um, very unwilling, took him um, up in the hand and put him upon the pillow of her own bed where he slept all night long as as soon as um it was light the frog jumped up hopped downstairs and and went out the house now then thought the princess at last he is gone and i shall be troubled with him no more but she was mistaken think, thinking for when night came again she heard the same tapping at the door and the frog came once more and said open the door my princess dear open the door to thy true love here and mind the words that uh, I said by the fountain cool in the greenwood shade and when the princess opened the, the door, the frog came in and slipped upon her pillow as before till the morning broke. And the third night he did the same. But when the princess awoke on the following morning, she was astonished to see, instead of a frog, a handsome prince gazing um, on her with most beautiful eyes she had ever seen and standing at the head of a bed. Mm. He told her that he had been enchanted by a sp spiteful fairy who had changed him into a frog and that he had been f fed it. Fated. So he, and uh, until some princess should take him out of the spring and let him eat from his plate and sleep upon her bed for three nights. You said the prince had broken his um, charm and now I have nothing to wish for, but that you should Go with, with, with me into my father's kingdom where I will marry you and love you as long as I live. The young princess, you may be sure, was not long in saying yes to all of this. Um, and as they spoke, a brightly coloured coach drove up with um, eight beautiful horses decked with um, feathers and golden harnesses and behind the coach rode a prince's servant faithful and rich who had bewailed um, the misfortunes of his dear um, master during his in, um, henchment so long so bittery that this heart had well nine birth then they took Eleven of the, um, they took, and, um, yeah, they then took leave of the king and got into the coach with eight horses and all set out full of joy and merriment for the prince's kingdom, which they reached safely, and there they lived happily. They lived happily a great many years. I hope you like that.